All right, now let's talk about compound interest. Compound interest is that concept of investing money. You earn interest on it, and that money goes back into your account. So the next time interest is accrued, you get interest on, on, the, on the interest and on the original principal. Okay? So if you know just a few things about the, the savings account, whatever it is that's earning interest, you can, there's a nice formula for figuring out how much money you're going to have. So A is going to be the final amount. We use the letter P to represent the principal amount. Of course, the principal amount is the, that's what you start with. We're going to use a little r to represent your your annual rate. N is equal to the number of compoundings per year. Okay. When we talk about compoundings, that means every time that the bank or institution puts interest into your account. Some places it's once a year, some places it's quarterly. If I say something is quarterly, what does that mean? Every three months. Every three months. Savings does a monthly for you. Say again? Savings does monthly. Well, it depends on where you are. It depends on how much money you have in there as well. I just got interest on mine. I got one penny in interest. <laughs> Literally one penny. IRS is gonna IRS is gonna tax us, so I actually get nothing. So that's kind of a bummer. And uh, T is equal to the time measured in years. Okay. So th that's what all, I'm going to give you a formula. That's what all these letters represent. So your formula is the following. The amount of money you have in your account is the principal times 1 plus R divided by N raised to the NT. Now let me explain to you what's going on here. If someone were to tell you that your annual rate is 8%, you do not get 8% every time that it's compounded unless it's just once a year. If it's compounded quarterly, that means four times a year, right? So if you get 8% for the whole year, but it's four times a year, you're actually only going to get 2% each time. But at the end, it's gonna be more than 8%. Trust me, we can do some math on that and you'll see why. N is this just the number of times, of co number of compoundings you have every year. If it's quarterly, it's four. If it's monthly, it's 12, and so on. And of course, T is going to be the total number of years. Now this product up here, this product of N times T, this is the total number of compoundings. That gives you the total number of compoundings. You know, let me just give you an example of this. Suppose I say that you invest, just so we can actually see some numbers here. Suppose you invest $12,000 at an account that earns 8%. Yeah, invest $12,000 at 8%. Let's do this for five years. See what you have in five years. Now, when I say in five years, I'm going to look at some different examples How many here. Times is it, uh, that's what I'm, that's what we're going to look at first. Let's see what happens if you do yearly compounding. If I do yearly compounding, that means that my amount of money is my principal, twelve thousand times 1 plus, what's your rate? 8%. So you better make sure you convert that correctly as a decimal. So that's point zero 0.08 over, how many times per year am I doing this? One. Once. N is, again, 1, and your number of years is 5. So think about what this is doing. Every time you're doing a compounding, you get to multiply your original amount times 
Are you with me? If you keep multiplying times 1.08 over and over and over again, your money keeps getting larger and larger. Do you agree? And this power here tells you how many times, how many total compoundings you have. If this is something that's done yearly and you do it for five years, how many times will the bank put money in your account? Once a year for five years is how many total times? Five. five. Okay. So let's check this out. It better be we better end up with more than twelve thousand dollars, right? Or the bank is is robbing us. So let's see what we have here. I have twelve thousand <coughs> times one plus point zero eight. I don't need to say divided by one, that's ridiculous. Raised to the what power? Here's, if you do 1 times 5, you're going to have issues here. It's raised to the first power times 5. Yeah, it's raised to the first power, which is just itself. Okay. And then you multiply the whole thing times 5. Look at the ridiculous answer you get. Wow! I have $65,000! Come on. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, the math is just wrong. So it's 12000 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to the 1 times 5 in parentheses. That's how much money I have. Now, since we are talking about money, how do we round appropriately here? To the hundredth. So that's $17,631.94. Do you all agree? Now, what do you think would happen if I change this up and I say, you know what? I want you to compound this quarterly. And I forgot a letter. The, the, the letters are all there. It's kind of hard to see. If I compound this quarterly, that means my amount is 12,000. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by what? Raised to the what? So if it's quarterly done for five years, how many total compoundings is that? That's what the four times five is right here. Let's see what the calculator gives me for this. So you would divide the point zero eight by three, right? Right. Not time. Not by three. When you enter that in in the first parenthesis and you're doing the point zero eight divided by four, do you need to bracket those within nope. the bracket? No. Nope. Because nope. the order of operations will be to do the division by four first okay. and then the addition. So you're okay there. Raised to the four times five power. Now, when you Can't you just do here at 20? You could. Okay. Question? That was my question. Okay. Now, do you think it should be more or less than yearly compounding? More. It should be more. The more compoundings you have, with everything else staying the same, the more money you should get. The more often you get interest means there's more opportunity for you to earn money. So I get 17831 $17,831.37. Do you all agree with that? What if I go crazier? More? Yes, we always want more, don't we? What if we do monthly? Oh, yeah! Rock! So that's 12,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12 raised to the 12 times 5 yearly for 5 years is 60. Do you all agree? Let's see. Better be more. 12,000. 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, which is the number of months, raised to the 12 times 5. Yes, you could just say 60. 60. 60. That's even more money. But you know what they say? More money, more problems. I was watching a special last night on ESPN 30 for 30 about athletes and money. There we go. So I end up with 
with more money, right? So the more compoundings I have, the more money I make, right? That's fantastic. Uh, 